Let's look at a discrete dynamical system with complex eigenvalues, and let's see what happens as time passes. So here's a discrete dynamical system, and this matrix A has purely imaginary eigenvalues, plus or minus i. So here is the vector x sub zero. And when you multiply this by A, you wind up at negative one, zero. So A takes you there. To get x sub 2, we multiply x sub 1 by a, and that product is 0, negative 1. So x sub 2 is there. Multiply by A again. X sub three is here. Multiply by A again. You find that actually X sub zero equals X sub four. And we'll just keep switching between these states as n goes to infinity. This represents a special case of a general truth that complex eigenvalues correspond to rotation on the Cartesian plane. If we look at another example, maybe one where the eigenvalues really are complex, and not purely imaginary. Now, well, here's the second example from my notes. Probably no need to write it down. This has genuinely complex eigenvalues. Four fifths plus or minus three fifths times the imaginary unit. And in the next frame, we'll pick an, um, an initial value, and we'll look at this discrete dynamical system. And what we again see is that these complex eigenvalues cause rotation. This time, um, the rotation is elliptical, but these complex eigenvalues cause this dynamical system to go around and around. Why would that be? In the next few videos and sets of notes, we'll try to work that out.